Hi everyone, my name is Mai, I'm from the Student Life team. And hi everyone, I'm Charlie, I'm the Wellbeing and Equality Officer. And we're your hosts for today's topic on contraception. Um, my name is Nathan Bell and I am the VP for Student Life. Um, I'm Fiona Brennan, I'm part of the Student Life team. And uh, hi guys, my name is Shakur and I'm from DBS. So first and foremost, you're going to ask about last week's question. So this is a ritual for us. So last week, the people asked us, who is our DBS crush? So Charlie, would you like to start? Oh, God. (laughs) Um, So I'm in a relationship. So uh, technically, you're not allowed to have a crush. Technically, you're not allowed. But (laughs) um, Jaglyn Page, um, for all the psychology students out there, she likes all those you no, know, you know he's your lecturer and he's gonna know that you fancy him. Oh, it's a lecturer. Well, he's, not yeah. my, he's not my lecturer <laughs> at the moment, though, so it's fine. He's such a sweet guy. Yeah, to be like honest. But he's gonna walk by you in the hallways knowing. No. He's not gonna listen to this, okay? <laughs> but he was. He is from... about town to listen to it. <laughs> no, but like, he keeps listen telling to this like, podcast. Amazing... <laughs> exactly, your, your name dropped. There you go. But he keeps telling like amazing stories of like him being awkward. So it's a good guy. Awkward people are the best people. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my crush. Uh, obviously, as an alpha male, we're not allowed alpha to have male. crushes. I so. want to, I want to uh, debate on that. But anyway, I want to get sick of my back. The fact that you said alpha male. Yes, but, I am an alpha male, uh, and uh, I don't really have crushes. I'm just attracted to any uh, female that I find attractive. Uh, yeah. Any female that looks at him. Yes. Awesome. Anyone with two legs and walking eyes. <laughs> okay, well, that could be a man as well, though. So. <laughs> wait, wait, no tree legs. People with no tree legs. Okay. Oh, no yeah. tree legs. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm going to say cop out. Because <laughs> I don't want to say mine. <laughs> I think you have to. You have to. Um, people are going to be with you. you it's to um, a German. Mm-hmm. Um, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> what position? <laughs> it's any position. <laughs> no. right, right, this is a DBS podcast. Nathan, Nathan, I'm nice. Nathan, Nathan, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not name dropping. I'll give you a clue because we practiced before we started. Her, her boy's name rhymes with Kenny. No said. No um, said. Thanks for that. Um, mine would be a girl called Julia because she bakes goods. That's and brings a lie. Them. No, I love that girl. She breaks goods and she brings them in and feeds me, so I'm happy with you. Well, that's wifey right Wait, now. you have a girl bringing in big goods? Yeah. Are but she brings out? in big goods for everyone. She brought in vegan yeah. brownies. It's not specifically no, aimed at me, but I feel like it is. So I love whatever. her as well. I changed my DBS crush. <laughs> it's Julia now. Oh. <laughs> so you just feel and she's passion. amazing. <laughs> her. Have you seen her painting? Her painting is phenomenal. She's artistic. She can cook. Guys, what else do you want? Yeah. What else Anyone do you want? who can bake me food. Marry me. Yeah, why is he marry So all the single girls out there, <laughs> the girls I can't cook, girlies, I'm here for you. <laughs> right, my who's your DBS crush? Um, so, guys, it's kind of sticky though. No, Yulia as well. I love Yulia. No, Yulia. Copy. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's, it's no copy and paste. It's a different Yulia. It's a different Yulia. It's mm. that one. I have a different Yulia. He copied mine, so I love Yulia. If you're listening to this, girl, I got you. Mm. No. <laughs> I'm bisexual, so I don't mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, so first question, guys. What is your opinion on contraception? Who's Can I go first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the recent experience, guys. If, if you can't see, I know you can't see, but I'm sitting in the middle of the two boys, and personally, I think one of them should go first. I think Nathan. Nathan, go ahead. I think it's important, but I think sometimes... I think it's important. <laughs> I am a person for <laughs> contraception. But obviously, in the heat of the moment, sometimes... In the heat of the moment, things happen. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's not always possible. But I do think it is important, and even though in the heat of the moment you get caught sometimes, I still think it's something Guys, that should it's always be done. possible. Don't let men tell you otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I agree, but... <laughs> Next, uh, <laughs> my personal motto is no condom, no sex. Mm-hmm. No glove, no love, no no <laughs> baby. But yeah, pretty much that's it. Like, no condom, end game. Yeah, I feel that. I feel I'm, that. I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting any. I see you there. I'm not getting any babies. So, no. Amen, sis. we're in college too. So, like, if you do get one guy, your life would be so much better. Can't, yeah, God. No. Uh, I like her. I disagree. Uh, I feel like if you have a quickie, uh, you can receive a dicky. So there's no. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 
But like, obviously, you guys, stay safe. Yeah, and uh, yeah. <laughs> She's so shocked. <laughs> Shakur wants all the smoke at all times. <laughs> Charlie, what's your opinion on contraception? It is um, like I think they're important. I don't don't like any of like every of them. I think there's some better ones out there, some not as good. But uh, like there's different forms as well. It doesn't always yeah. have to be the man who has to do it. Women can do like their birth like, control and birth control. control yeah. yeah. So I, I preferably would prefer if a girl takes care of it. But if it's up to me. I will try to do it, but if I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you can't. Like, I mean, if, like... If he only likes free supplies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if you're, out, if you're out of stock on something... Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was so stock. Be prepared. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you're out of stock, sometimes you gotta just roll. Okay, opinion on contraception. To be honest, I think there's no excuse, guys. Like, baby versus 10 minutes of pleasure. I'm very logical. It's Ten minutes. Mm. Ten minutes. Depends. Depends on the guy. I would have said yeah. a minute of pleasure. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. You'd be shocked. Sometimes mm-hmm. you go for like thirty minutes, an hour, three hours, and then suddenly you'd be like two minutes. So yeah. You're just like wow. I can't lie. We go for three hours. You just need to calm down a little bit. That's a bit. So, well, there's a lot of foreplay involved. But yeah. surely, like, sure. like after a while, you get bored of it. You're like, okay, just apparently oh, Nathan yeah, can't, can't go for three hours, guys. So he probably can't mind. even go I for promise. a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, those who know, know. <laughs> oh, yeah, you those who know, know. You don't have to even want to find out. Capital letters. Capital letters, that's it. Um, okay, so the second question. Um, so what do you guys think, like, what are the pros and cons for you um, for using contraception in your experience? Pros is obviously no baby. And cons is, for women, there's a lot of side effects anyway. But I wish that men would just take them. Because a hundred percent of the take time, a pill? yeah, yeah, there's yeah, yeah pills for men. Because a hundred percent of the time, if a guy takes the pill, you'll be sorted. Like for women, it's like we only get pregnant for like a like a weekend or cycle, mm-hmm. I think. But for men, it's like a hundred percent of the time. Me and Shakur are shocked. That's yeah, so actually never. <laughs> we can that. take a pill. I, I, even, I thought it was just you know, the more you know. Yeah. But you know, it's like your baby. Mm. I'm gonna put down some protein shakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some pre-workout, we like you know. Actually, mm. I actually didn't know that. Personally, like. Like I've been on the pill and that messes with my her- hormones yes, so it does. much. It makes it me does. so depressed. Mm. Like it makes me depressed out of my fucking mind. You're a different person <laughs> on and off it, to be honest. Yeah, so like when I'm off it, like I tend like I don't take it anymore just because I hate how it makes me feel. So I'm like that's why I'm always like, please wear a condom. Because yeah. like yeah. I'm not on anything. Even plan B is horrible. <sighs> horrible. Plan- There's like two to forms I think. Well, plan B is like one's L one and then the other one I don't remember. But one of them fucks me up bad. Really fucked me up. It messed up my home so bad the mm. next day. I started yeah. crying for no reason. Yeah. Like it it just makes your hormones like unbalanced. Yeah. So I'm just like it I'm cleans not going like to, your whole system. Yeah. You but, see, this is the shit we have to struggle with know, because of you don't condom wear. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you know, I was just thinking, like, no dicky, no quickie. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I was just thinking like, how awkward it is as well for girls to go to pharmacies and talk to doctors. I know doctors ask questions, like when you go and ask for the pill. Like, and especially like my doctor in particular is a male, mm-hmm. and like one time I was kind of worried about myself. And I was like, um, <laughs> how do I get like this? <laughs> and then it was, just, like, it was just very uncomfortable. And like, yeah. it was just very awkward because like, I didn't want to tell my mom and be like, oh, I want to go to a female doctor because yeah. it's like our family doctor. Yeah. And like, that, then it just makes it even more awkward. Because you know when you go to the doctors as well, they ask you, have, they, have you been having sexual activity? And your parents are just there like, oh, In the corner. nothing. <laughs> what sex? <laughs> but you know, how does that happen? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> but you know it's also funny. You know when you go to buy condoms as a man, and like as you reach over to take them condoms off, oh, like man. the dude serving you makes that eye contact. <laughs> you like, oh. No, what's and he looks at you like. Oh. Have you ever seen the videos on like? I think it came up on my Instagram where it's like a man was like he, he was buying condoms and like the man behind him was hyping them up and be like, oh yeah, it's like I'm going home like to my girlfriend. She's a free house, and the next minute he like he's like I'm meeting her family and everything. Walked in the door and wasn't her father that was hyping him. <gasps> Good laugh over. That is mad. 
But, no giggle. Yeah, I think, giggle there's a, I think there's an awkwardness with like contraception that people worry about, but I think yeah. you kind of, you want to be safe, you need to get over it. If you don't want to be safe, um, you take like, that risk like, and, you, and you, you'll deal with whatever happens from it, I think. If I'm ever buying condoms, I never buy it in my local like pharmacy or local shop. Mm. <laughs> you go out of town I go, I go somewhere else where I've not known as much. Yeah, I get it. Just go to your local bus, man. Huh? Go to your local bus, man. Like, you'll sort you out something. <laughs> don't know what you want to do. No. They don't know what a bus man is. Oh, like a local like uh, corner shop or something like that. Uh, no, it's... No. no. Too, too many locals. No. Okay. Oh, the local boss man is saying no. Wait, what was the though. question again, real quick? My centric guy actually goes to DBS. And now he says hi to me every time. What? Anyway. Yeah. Wait, what was the question? It was a uh, oh, pros and cons. Pros and cons. cons. Uh, obviously... The cons as well is that it will lead without you will lead to a baby in it. And then the pros are uh, obviously enjoyment. I feel like the rest of your day your your, your mood is just up in it. You're glowing. I don't know if yeah. your eggs God knows. You actually it's glow, your it. skin stays yeah. almost oh my god. Guys, that's why like, people here can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, the way he's making not smile, have you? <laughs> he's trying not to smile. Hold he's been cut out. <laughs> But I feel like the cons are more so on the girl side of um, contraception. Yeah. Boys well, just not really. It can mm. also be on the boy side because if you, pleasure. if you don't wear a condom, you could pick up something easily. You could pick up an STI yeah. so yeah. easily mm. because you don't know where the other person's been. Mm. So you can yeah. pick it up so easily. Yeah. Um. So you can. What about pleasure for men? Uh, we definitely prefer without. Yeah, 100%. I Isn't think girls do as well. Mm. Maybe, well like, it's, and, like it's a noticeable difference. I wouldn't say it's like zero to one hundred, but yeah. Yeah. it is a it is a good difference. And girls doesn't make a difference to you or not? Uh, for me, not really. No, not really. It um, makes a small difference. It, it makes a small difference. Like, yeah, it feels a small bit better without a condom. But I don't know. I'm just the type of person that I get really anxious if you're not wearing one. Yeah, I'd be paranoid the entire I'd, time. I'd be so uh, paranoid, yeah. and then I'd be just like, okay, let's just stop. And then you don't enjoy it. So. Yeah. Only takes one spend to change your life. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Same as last words. <laughs> you only brought this together now. No, no, no. Because, like, obviously, yeah, no. Because, like, there's obviously 100 and only one makes it true. It's like trying Only takes it. one time, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make it your first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I just wanted to say, uh, speaking of condoms, uh, keep an eye out for the week after reading week because we'll actually be giving out free condoms in DBS. Me and Chicago taking them by the handful. <laughs> 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 I'm going to supply my flatmates with them. So I'll be like, here, you fuckers, go. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. But what services do we have actually now? There's a new thing that just got released, isn't it? Um, The HSE, they expanded the age range for like free contraception and all these things. So now it's actually from 16 to, uh, no, from 17 to 25. But next year in September 2023 is actually going to be from 16 until 30. Um, that you can get. So how do you get them? Oh, it's women. Oh, but do you it's, get yeah. Women? yeah, it's only for because women. We have a lot more. To, we have to take a pill, um, morning after pill. Um, yeah. Does that mean the morning after pill will be free or no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'd like it to, to get the coil, um, the, bar. the bar. And the it, fittings of the fittings of of them as well. It's all free, but I wouldn't recommend getting them because it messes with your hormones so much, yeah. a lot more worse than the pill. Yeah. And um, also with periods, it messes with your periods. Yeah. yeah, And just with birth control as well, there's many different brands. Mm-hmm. So sometimes just dependent on brand. But for me, it's just birth control is not me. That's my own yeah. opinion. Yeah. But it might work for some of the women. You know? Exactly. But yeah. you can like speak to your GP as well, like for free as well, to talk about them and like see what's your best option because I know some people that work for them and like they like it didn't have many effects for them but obviously like for me and like for most of us it did affect their hormones so. I think it all like when we're talking about the pill in general I think it all depends on the brand because there's so many brands out there on the pill you need to find the brand for exactly. you yeah. rather than just sticking with the one brand like rather than thinking oh like I tried one and didn't work so yeah. I'm gonna try another one again yeah. like you never know, like, the next one might be the one that actually works yeah. for you. Yeah. Okay, next question. So, this is a bit personal, guys. <laughs> a bit? <laughs> a bit. So, it's not personal yet? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, question three. When was the first time you had sex? Mm. Like, when? When? Yeah. Do we have to go into detail? 
no, really. <laughs> no, I said like, okay. Like the no, background. Like whatever you're into, it's fine. First sexual experience versus first sex. It's kind of different though, isn't it? Well, I was just like, a, like how long ago was like your first time? Yeah. I don't know, 17. 17? Yeah. I'm actually the same. I was 17 as well, yeah. yeah. I was 19 and it was like a proper committed relationship. And it was quite How funny. long was it? It was, it's only like nine months, but like that's committed. Yeah, it was like proper, like feelings and stuff there. So yeah. it was like proper, like oh, weird. Oh, you're so sad. It was weird as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 <laughs> this, 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 and this is why I'm single. <laughs> it really went deeper, Emma. No, but like the See, story. Apparently, single guys are ready to mingle. <laughs> Like the reason, like the story behind it is so funny. You'll tell us after. Yeah, yeah I'll tell, tell you after. Tell us now. Yeah. No, it's so funny. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I think I was about sixteen or seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, don't remember though. I think I was seeing the girl for like a while, and she came down. She came down to the gap because she was from Mead. Mm. Oh, that's a red mm. flag. Yeah, and <laughs> she was actually really freaking. Sorry, I'm she, from Westmead, so that's why it's a red flag. She actually, she's actually a rival only fans right now, and she's really pretty, and she's probably way out of my league at this point in time. Oh, I don't oh, know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on. Has okay, well, we, we love you. Don't have it's amazing, though. Nathan has no self-esteem problems. The problem <laughs> is this girl has made a lot of money from OnlyFans. She's a little bit Would you know how bad that? Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, you know. Nothing wrong like with sugar it. Mama. She made some money from there, so yeah, congratulations yeah. to her. If there's guests for congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of you, whoever you are. <laughs> her Bye. name was Kate. Secure the bag, guys. Sift it up. Exactly. Um, my first time was so different because I was drunk as fuck. I didn't know the guy. It was at a party. <laughs> um, and we went outside in the second little forest nearly and it was really uncomfortable I did not like it this, <laughs> this is very adventurous this is so <laughs> unexpected of you <laughs> there you go the most like, I'm not gonna lie I the most conservative like, person like, in the like, room it, it would make sense if I had Charlie's story and if Charlie had <laughs> mine I think it would make yeah. a lot more sense if that came out of my mouth <laughs> well, well no, actually I have to reword mine my first sexual experience was 17 but the first time I actually had sex was when I was 20 crazy my first, first my first sexual experience was when I was fifteen and then when I actually had sex was when I was nineteen. Nineteen. Oh no, eighteen, sorry, eighteen. Eighteen. Interesting guys, interesting. So finally, last question. So how do you think these services becoming available would help? So the, the free contraception from the age of yeah, yes. exactly, yeah. from sixteen to twenty five now. How do you think these would help and sixteen to thirty from September, right yeah. there. Do you think this will help? And um, if it was younger you, how would it help you? Personally, I think it'll help. Like, say if I was looking back at me when I was younger, I was so ashamed of being on the pill. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just because of the way I, like, the way I was brought up. Because, like, basically, as soon as I got a boyfriend, mom was like, you're going on the pill. Whereas if I was single, really? she didn't Your really... Your mom actually gave, like... She oh, out, like. she brought me to the doctor. It was like, oh, yeah, she's going on the pill. Like I, it's like she had the conver she sat me down with the doctor and we went through contraception. I was like, this is really awkward considering my brother mother brought it up, yeah. not me. I love but, that. Though. But yeah, but like, but if I'm single, she's like, why are you on the pill? Mm, Take away. Yeah. She's like, why are you on the pill? You don't need it. Oh, okay. And I'm just like, I'm out here, home mother. <laughs> I'm like, let me be a hoe. <laughs> Well, there you're not listening, so it's okay. Whoever's okay, editing this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is so chaotic. Yeah, Dave, I'm gonna apologise. You're probably having a nightmare. Now. <laughs> you're gonna have a real giggle. <laughs> um, Who's your DDS crush? Hi, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, we love, we love you. But um, yeah, so basically, I was kind of like pushed into it, but like I didn't really mind. But back then, like back then, I wish like mm -hmm. I grew up with it more openly minded. Like, I suppose I should have turned to my older sister mm. a bit more um, about it, even because, she, yeah, she's quite open about sex as well. Yeah, that's cool. Which is nice, whereas my parents aren't. 
And that is weird talking to your sister rather than to your parents, I feel like. Not really, because I'm quite close with my sister. Like, she turned exactly, around to yeah. me one day being like, oh, when did she have sex last? I was like, okay, we were in the pub, we were in the pub, like, okay. we were in the pub just chatting, and then she was like, oh, when was the last time we had sex? It was really, it was really awkward, but yeah. It's been months, it's, they'd probably be judging, you'd be like, wow, it's long. No, yeah, I mean, I, I asked her the same, she was like, come back to me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's always pulling, Fee's always pulling at the events, guys, if you always see Fee, see Fee just say hi. You know, just I, say hi. I'm never pulling, pulling, but. Be <laughs> just naturally attracts, is what I'm saying. Oh, Natural flow. Don't, don't say hi to Shakur. <laughs> <laughs> you probably think he fancies you. <laughs> Anything with no tree legs. <laughs> Wait, well, also remember, no dicky, no quickie. <laughs> no, it's, if there's no, time no, for no. a quickie, there's time for a little dicky. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question again? Oh, contraception. Contraception. How do you think these services being available will help you or the past self of you? Um, I think those services are great, but I think people knowing about them is important. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, we've yeah. never had a clue about that at the age of 16. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, I think in secondary schools, they need to be more vocal yeah. about contraception. And, like, I know, say, in my school like they were open ish about it was but it Catholic school yeah. yeah I'm not saying I, I, I like uh, like they were open ish about it but like I feel like they should be more freely about it because mm. I feel it's like it's a taboo subject it's yeah. so natural it's so natural I like it's well, you know, when you're that age, like everyone's immature, they see yeah. the like, thing on screen, everyone's laughing and laughing. Chatting. But, like, even for like fifth years or leaving certs, because that's around the age category of 16 to 17, and that's when people tend to start having sex. So, I feel like that they should be a lot more open minded and explaining a lot more about the pill and different contraceptions. Like, I know they do it in home economics, mm. but I, it needs to be outside of that subject itself. Yeah. It's not yeah. just biological, it's also a lot of things with it. Yeah. Like if you're not doing home, ec- home economics or biology, it's not really spoken about. But that could be just because I went to a Catholic school. Yeah. So it's a whole different ball game yet again. I don't know if my, I did my, like in primary school when I was in sixth class. Oh I don't yeah, know. the sex yeah, ed yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's like the early. boys in the bits. The yeah. boys in the bits, yeah. <laughs> Bro, we did that proper early. Then... I've never heard that talk actually. I actually don't know what the board's in the like, I know what it is, but I don't know. Like, yeah. I've never heard the actual story of the board in the base. Oh. I actually don't know it either. Any of them story? It's just pollinate, no? Yeah. Right? It's all about pollination. But, anyways, um, if you're out there and if you pop it to Nathan, please explain to him that story because it's a good thing with hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually interested, so I actually want to listen to it if you want to come tell me. There you go. Preferably a girl. Preferably a girl, preferably anybody with legs. Oh, it's calm down. Three legs. They have That's three nice legs. Two. Really nice legs. But like, even growing up as well, for me, I think that I was sitting really being sick, and I just started becoming sexually active at that time, and I got an STI, and I couldn't get anyone. I couldn't get help. Mm. I was suffering throughout my mocks because I was too embarrassed. There's no services to help me, and I suffered through it, and mm. I'm okay now. Like I, but, like, I, I got, wish I, had. I got one yeah. in my eye. An uh, STI in your eye? Mm, yeah. An STI. <laughs> 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 like, like I, I, I thought no, I why had, are we laughing that was so bad like um, <laughs> just what he said like <laughs> yeah. this was like, like obviously it's fine now everything's good but like it was just so embarrassing because I went to the eye and ear and they did a load of tests on my eye because I had massive pink eye I had a really bad pink eye and I didn't know what or what it was from. So we went to the eye and ear and they did tests and one of the tests for an STI. And I didn't know this, they didn't tell me. And then they rang my mum's phone being like, oh, this is um, the eye and ear, can we speak to Panula? So mum was waiting outside my door and I started bursting into tears being like, what the fuck is going on? So it turned out I had like an STI and then I had to tell my mum. And my mum was like, or what? And then I had to explain to my mum how it could have happened. Wow. Yeah. That That's a crazy story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen. But it, it's all good now. <laughs> I'm still, I'm all clear. Yeah, I'm yeah. free, guys. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, you actually both hit me with two punches. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. So it's a good. I was not ready for that. <laughs> crazy. Are, are you, are you surprised about the eye thing? Yeah. No, I had an eye. Yeah. I had an eye thing. For about two weeks. But I didn't know it was an STI. I don't think it was an STI. No, it's probably just 
because it wouldn't have went down after two weeks. It would have still been around. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Anyway. Let's hope not. What's your... What would you tell your younger self about contraception? Uh, obviously, when I was, like, in my last year of... Uh, like, when I did it, the thing was still free. I think that's when they changed it, so... Ooh, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, like, it was kind of bad for my thing, but I think it's, like... It's helpful enough nowadays for, like, younger children, because, like, some of them may not have the money. Like, I think before you were, you were supposed to buy a rent, it was, like, did you have to pay for it? Yeah, it was, like, yeah. seven... Yeah, so some like kids may not have, like, the money to buy for it, but now it's free for them, and, like, they don't really have to go to their parents to ask for money to mm. go buy it. Yeah. So... And this is the awkwardness of shit. Yeah. your parents. Do you know how jarring that yeah, is? Mm. I'm not. That's so embarrassing. Yeah. Like they ask you, they grill you over questions. They're like, why do you need to go to the doctor? Mm. What? Yeah. Why do you need to get a prescription? Mm. I can avoid all that. <laughs> but when you actually get into it and you're asking for like a plan B or anything, the doctors are so understanding. Mm. They bring you to the side and it's like, hey, have you got this before? Um, how are you feeling? They're always smiling at you, being like, oh, are you okay? That's okay. They reassure you they a really lot. They really do. They mm. normalize like subjects so easily. And like, so many people do it. So don't think that you're like the only person that this happens to. It's quite normal. And like, I just feel like people should just be more open that these things do happen and not to be ashamed of it. Because so Absolutely. Much. Absolutely. Um, so it's a bit different for me because in Germany, most of it is actually free because uh, I'm from Germany. Um, like, or GP appointments are free. And then like the... Um, the car is not like these are all free um, but what isn't free like it's a pill or something like that so I feel like that would have been really really helpful like growing up and also I think knowing that there's more than one pill out there because I kind of just grew up like thinking oh like there's just one pill and like I've heard so much bad things about it yeah. that it doesn't work and all these things and I think if I had known that there's like, different options and that there might actually be one that like is suited for me yeah. um, I would have been more likely to actually go for it um, yeah. so. okay Thank you guys, but before we finish this off, can we make a question for next week's podcast to answer? When was the last time you had sex? Yes, yeah. agreed. Okay. Approved! Thank you everyone, that's a wrap! We need to do next week's podcast, isn't it like Chaitanya? <laughs> it's a great thing to know. <laughs>